All right, so where we left off, we had finished uh, designing the the home page. So let's let's do a couple of things. Let's uh, go to our local view, and we can we can delete this demo.html file. So I'm just going to delete that one. Yes, and let's duplicate our index. Okay, so rename this to be about.html and let's do it again. Duplicate and we'll name this one portfolio.html. Uh, one second here. All right, sorry. Um, and we'll do this again and call this one contact.html alrighty so let's open up one of these let's open up about.html I'm going to close out of index because we don't really need it open anymore uh, and let's figure some things out. Um, we're going to have to go back over here into Photoshop and why don't we hide our demo reel um, and I'm going to duplicate uh, this little box that we made before and I'm going to which one? I'll use this one for the about page. Got a pretty picture of myself. Um, gonna hide that. And I'm just gonna position this. And I want a little bit more space for the text. So I'll move it over one more column. I'll create a mask. Unlock the mask and uh, move this around and scale it until it looks nice. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, I'm just going to do Control T and bring this out and uh, our slices are a little bit off so I'm just going to use the select slice tool and bring this in and bring this one out okay and uh, we'll go and do save as I'm going to call this about sliced and then go up here save for web and devices and then select both of these by holding down um, shift and then left clicking uh, actually let me yeah that's a, still a gif and that one is a jpeg so both of them are selected I'll click save and this time where it says um, all slices just do selected slices and uh, I'm just going to save this uh, about sliced. Uh, I'm going to make a new folder just because I have a feeling like it might try and override some stuff. So I'm just going to make a new folder and save it out. Okay. And Yeah, I had forgotten to rename these. It, it would have replaced our older images. So I'm just going to name this about image and about description. And I'm going to copy these two files and bring it back over to our website and images and paste them in. Okay. So now they're in there. And we'll just... Uh, 
make some adjustments over here. So instead of this being eight columns, this is seven. And instead of this one being four, it's five. Okay. And uh, we might have to make some changes here. Uh, we're going to have to make um, a new ID for uh, the text. So I'm just going to go over here and copy where it says description and paste it again. And uh, I'll just call this one about description. And this one is how many pixels wide? Let's find out. Copy new. Okay, so it's 380 pixels wide. So where it says width, we'll paste in the 380, but then we have to minus 50 for the padding. So it's really 330. Okay. And instead of description.gif, it's about description.gif. Okay. Uh, now we have to fix um, this. Uh, we'll delete this YouTube video and add an image. And there's our about image. And uh, for the text, I'll just call it Ben Jones photo. Okay. And there we go. Um, we're going to have to fix this, though. This is wrong. Uh, there we go. About description. Now I have to paste in that new text. So I've got it here in Notepad. And I'll just copy and paste this right in there. And again, I put returns in there in Notepad. But what I really want are paragraphs. So I've got to use those instead. Paragraph. And paragraph. Oh, one more. Cool. So there's our about page. So let's save that. And uh, preview what it looks like. All right. So there's the about page. And if we click here, and there's our home page. And there's our about page. And there's our home page. Uh, you won't get that pop up when you actually upload it to the internet. It's just because we're doing it uh, locally on our computer that we're getting that. So it's already starting to come together. It's really exciting. OK. Uh, I'm going to move on to the contact page next. Um, and then I'll make the portfolio uh, another video. OK. So for the contact page, we're going to do the same exact thing. So back here in Photoshop, uh, let's hide this and duplicate this. Hide the other one. OK. Uh, and I have another image right here of myself. And I'll just paste that in and, oh, and move it into place. And uh, I think I might, <laughs> I might be able to use the exact same uh, web page for this one. So I'm just going to scale this up a little bit just so that it fits. And uh, I'll make a mask. Cool. Yeah, I'll be able to use uh, the same web page for this one. So I'm just going to uh, select just this one. And uh, I'll rename it um, Contact Photo. And save for web and devices. Just have this one selected. And uh, that's fine. All right. I'm going to save this as 
contact sliced. All right. Um, so I'm going to actually delete my contact page. Um, uh, yeah, I'm getting this error because uh, all those pages are linked to it. And I have a feeling like it might try and update uh, the links. So I'm going to click no for now. And I'm just going to do it uh, outside of Dreamweaver. Um, so I'm going to delete contact. Okay. And uh, I think I have my... Yeah. So I'll just copy and paste about .html and rename this contact. Okay. So now that'll be exactly the same. And uh, I'm going to refresh my view, open up contact, close that up about. Uh, one thing that you have to be careful of, uh, I didn't run into it, but it's something that you need to watch out for, is um, changing something in your CSS that affects more than one thing. Okay, so if I decided, oh, I want more space between this image and my navigation, and I can change that really easily by changing uh, content, um, because that's that's the rule that tells it what space. So I can make it 75 instead. 75. There we go, and that'll space it out. But that's going to space it out on all of my web pages because all of my web pages are all using the same styles.css file. So just be careful of stuff like that. Um, so I, I don't I haven't really run into that problem um, specifically making this specific website, but I have run into it in the past. So watch out anyway.